morning. I'm Matthew Abraham. I'm David Bevan. In a moment, we're going um, we're going off to Perth. This has been International Week. We've talked to the yes. Premier in Helsinki, yes, as you would have heard yesterday. Uh, um, we spoke to Mary Kissel in New York just a few moments ago. Off to Berlin, uh, yes, in Germany, obviously, to talk to Rod Hook about his skyhooks. That's what he should have called the Skyway. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, I quite like Skyway. Um, but uh, this this is his proposal that's been. Um, I think I, I think he has been. I think it's fair to say mocked by uh, some Labor MPs yeah. and dismissed by the government. They haven't Treasurer. embraced him. No. And as, as somebody who was uh, one of their uh, uh, centurions uh, in, uh, in, in the Labor army um, for, what, the best part of ten years and who did the heavy lifting on big projects, transport projects around Adelaide and then projects like the Adelaide Oval. It got to the point where, look, if there was a big project, they just called him Rod Hook. Rod, Rod would deliver it on time. Well, he and uh, Joe Weatherall parted ways, and so he's gone off to um, look after the Skyway project. Which is um, a, a model of it, a, a, well, a trial, a, a, a test trial, pilot project, will be built at Flinders University. It is, we're told... Um, going to happen, and that's not just from Rod Hook, but also from Flinders University. Rod Hook, let's go to him in Berlin and Germany, Director of Skyway Australia. Good morning, Rod. Good morning, uh, Matt. Good morning, Dave. Now, what are you... Um, you're at this this conference in Berlin. Yeah, look, this is called Innotrans uh, 2016. It's about innovative transport. It's the biggest conference, um, they tell me, in the world ever. Uh, it's a leading trade fair, trade fair for the world's um, leading innovators. So um, uh, more than 2,700 exhibitors. Uh, don't know the number of delegates, but probably more than 10,000. Uh, so it's quite huge, quite mind-blowing, in fact. And, and you're there representing Skyway Australia. And what, have, you, have you actually got models or, or um, real-life exhibits of these pods that you're suggesting could solve some of Adelaide's trans transport problems. Describe to us what you're standing next to when you're at the exhibit. Okay, the Skyway stand, uh, look, in the scale of this conference, it's uh, not a big stand, uh, but we are there. Um, we do have uh, two of the initial uh, pods, um, rolling stock. There's a, uh, a unibus style uh, that is there on display. So, look, whilst most stands and all the big firms are here and whilst I can walk around and I can look at every conceivable tram or train uh, or um, a whole range of other products and most people are there to sell their product, uh, what we're doing on our stand at Skyway is putting out the prototype of a couple of um, items of rolling stock, the first one's built, which is just putting some legs on the fact that we're here, this idea has, has got legs uh, and we're coming and it's mainly an appeal to those who are investing in the company. Now, for those who um, uh, haven't caught up with this, can you explain simply what a Skyway is and where you're going to build it initially? Uh, well, there's, there's three components for the Skyway system. There's probably more if I want to nail it down. But generally, it, uh, it is a system that will take freight. It's a system that can do high-speed interstate rail. Uh, and it's a system that can do urban transport. And the basic theme is you build a couple of beams in the sky uh, and you have uh, rolling stock um, that can be whatever size you want to make it but that basically either is mounted on top of these beams uh, and uh, runs above the ground uh, or it's suspended under the beams but still runs above the ground. Along cables obviously or rails? It's on a, on a rail, uh, so it's not a cable, it's not a cable car. Our, um, our system, I'm sure, will last uh, longer than a cable car because the steel that is in tension that holds our together is, uh, holds our system or our track, our waste structure together, uh, is um, protected, in, enclosed in, in concrete, which is the way you would normally run your structures. Now, what's capturing the imagination at this um, at this uh, conference? I is it driverless cars, or is it trams, or or what? What's the what, what are people talking about? Everywhere I go, uh, universally, um, 
people here are saying that we have to embrace innovation and technology. Uh, we need energy efficiency. We need to minimise or eliminate the carbon footprint. Uh, we have to have effective application of funds um, and uh, this is in the context where people all through Europe are talking investing billions in rail uh, so we need to invest wi uh, wisely and I guess the point I would make is that Skyway has its hand up on every one of those points. Now there are other competitor products here uh, that, um, that we're alongside but if we want environmental enhancements, um, low carbon footprint, energy efficiency mm -hmm. uh, and something that's innovative, um, we're there. What are you planning? You're planning a um, sort of a passenger transport, commuter transport for the Flinders University site, correct? Uh, correct. We'll do a test site first at a separate site um, uh, and we're trying to identify the land for that but that's just somewhere where we will demonstrate to people who want to come and see how it operates but we'll use it as a test site more than a pilot project. Flinders University we're seeing as a pilot project. It would take students 500 metres up the hill which is about a 50 metre rise probably run off a building which the university wants to build at their northern lower station uh, and um, yeah, we will need to work through the process of getting the formal approval uh, for that to be um, authorised to carry people and carry them safely mm. of course. So there'd be at this lower building that they're going to build um, a, a point there where you'd have effectively a station where people yes. would be able to board one of these pods Yes, that run. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're talking a, um, a multi-deck car park um, at this point with probably some uh, some commercial and uh, maybe some accommodation above it. Okay, so and you ride from that up to the campus? Up, up, up to the main registration, the main entry okay. of, the, uh, of the university. Mm. Okay, now before you leave us, Rod Hook, Director of Skyway Australia and former CEO of the Transport Department. Um, this morning we hear that uh, an old friend of yours, Port Rush Road, is the scene of another two truck a accident. That's a, it's a rear ender. And it's prompted a discussion about h how we got to this position of trucks driving down Port Rush Road. Now this is not an attack, an attack on the truck drivers. They haven't got anywhere else to go. Um, and they're just trying to do their job as safely as possible. So this is not an attack on the truck drivers. But it, it, it does show a serious failure of planning, surely in this state, going back over decades. Well, the main, the main entry for trucks uh, and everyone indeed coming from, um, from Melbourne, of course, is the South East Freeway. Uh, probably even a lot of people come from Sydney, come that route. You go the South East Freeway. <coughs> Excuse me, you uh, you get to um, Glen Osmond <coughs> and you either go Port Rush Road or Cross Road. Hmm. So, you, <coughs> that's right, you need to grab a water um, from your Inno, Inno, Inno transport stall there. <laughs> you right there, Rod? No, I don't think he's worth we'll to come back to Rod in just a moment. Matthew Abraham and David Bebb with you here. We're talking to Rod Hook. He's Director of Skyway Australia, um, very well known to us as a former CEO of the Transport Department of South Australia and uh, ran many big projects for the state government, including, uh, from memory, the duplication of the uh, Southern Expressway um, and uh, delivered that on time and on budget and also Adelaide Oval, uh, one of the, the big jewels in the crown um, for the government. Rod? Yeah. You're right there. Sorry. Yeah. You're sure? still going. You're still going. <laughs> Must be something in the water. You sh you uh, it could be. Yep. You, could, you could have some German beer. <laughs> right. Are there any plans anywhere in transport, uh, in the transport department of South Australia, sort of in, in one of those back rooms, filled with filing cabinets for, uh, a, you know, the, the, the much talked about bypass that would take trucks before they really got to Adelaide around the back of the hills and uh, come out at two wells? or certainly far north of Adelaide? Really um, was never on the agenda in my time, either for uh, rail or road, to, um, to do a major bypass. <coughs> so it's always been uh, yeah. well, bringing the uh, trucks in and trying to get them through the city. Yep, as um, safely as possible. And the options were Port Rush Road or Cross Road. Mm. A lot of money was spent in Port Rush Road with fences uh, to make that work. 
but um, we don't have a better option at the moment. Okay, Rod, we'll let you go. We'll Rod, let you go. Rod, Thank Rod, you, Rod. Uh, Director of Skyway Australia and former CEO of the Transport Department of uh, South Australia. And as, you've, as we've been hearing this morning, the calls we've had, thank you, this Port Rush Road is the scene of a two-truck accident. Um, we Just understand the that be, no one seriously hurt. The drivers weren't seriously hurt. It was a rear-ender involving two big doubles, um, as David said, near the uh, parade intersection there. And um, we've had quite a lot of calls um, about Port Rush Road and why it ended up being a major transport route. And it sounds like it just did. A text here from a truckie saying, um, Port Rush is a joke for us truckies. Uh, we need a freight route from the northern suburbs. Now in a moment.